card and I've got in front of you a lovely piece of hunky dory cardstock, the adorable scorable, um, some gold sort of mirror board but it's like a textured soft metallic gold and then a sheet of toppers from Kanban. The topper I've decided to use is this one of the Three Kings. We're going to do is use our distressing tool here and we're just going to take the little notches off where you've popped the topper out where it's been held in place on the sheet. So we're just going to literally go around the edges and take those off. Uh, I've decided to use a religious Christmas card because I haven't got very many in my collection so I thought it'd be nice to do one. Okay, card base is going to be this um, beautiful teal from Adorable Scorable. So I'm going to score that in half because I'm going to make an A5 card. And on the Martha Stewart scoreboard we need to just move it to the little notch just past the zero that she's marked, not the notch, the little mark. And then it comes up to 11 and 3 quarters which means you want 5 and seven eighths so then just score down the center and then literally just butt it up into the corner so you get a nice even fold and then just score uh, use your bone folder and run along the score line and you've got a lovely crisp a5 card okay now i'm going to be using this as a landscape card and i want to take some of this um gold and put it down the side and then we're going to have our topper over here so i need to just take a rough measurement uh, so i'm just going to cut about that much so we're just going to do it literally a rough idea it's not needing to be precise so let me do it um so I can give you my actual dimensions because I thought that would be easier for you. So we're looking at probably, let's try four inches and see what that comes out like. So then we we'll take our card and I think that will be fine. Next thing I want to do, and I'm not going to um, cut this to the right length yet, is I want to emboss on this. And I thought it'd be fun to do some embossing because I haven't done any embossing on my new Grand Calibre yet. So I thought that'd be really cool. And I've got this lovely embossing folder called Flora. Now I know it's not particularly Christmassy, but there's one here that's kind of palm leafy. And I thought for that kind of um, scene, you know, snow wasn't really appropriate. So I thought this one would be quite nice. Okay, so I've put my Grand Calibre out and I've popped it over to one side because obviously you don't want to look down upon that. And then the first plate we need is our A base plate, so I'll pop that down. Then you need the embossing folder itself. Now the Spellbinders embossabilities are dual embossing folders, so you have this side when you fold it together gives you that pattern, and this side when you fold it together gives you this pattern on the inside. Now, as I had originally said that I was going to use this one, but having looked at it on the embossing folder, I actually really like this, so I'm going to use this one instead. Um, if there is a way up with your design, i.e. whether it's landscape or portrait design, make sure that that matches how you want it to lie on your card. And the other thing is obviously to make sure that the embossed and the depost side is the right way around for the paper that you want. So I'm going to pop that in there like so. So just put it inside. Now what the way I've worked it out in my mind, but I don't know if it's really correct, is that I want most of the leaves to pop up. So therefore the popped up section has to be underneath in order to push the card up. So I'm putting the gold there, the right side up. Okay, so then just pop that shut. And then this is where that raspberry plate comes into um, use and it's the D plate, the adapter plate and that just then goes on top. Now this doesn't usually come in the bundles, you usually have to buy this separately. Okay and that is literally your sandwich so then we just pop it in the mouth of our grand caliber and wind it through. Wow that looks amazing. Hasn't that come out beautiful? How crisp is that? So that is going to look stunning on our card. Really pleased with that. This is our card. So that piece is going to go along the edge here. Now I'm going to take it slightly above 
because I can, so that then I can cut that edge nice and smooth. Because sometimes when it goes through the um, embossing folders, it kind of squidges the edge and makes it a bit rough. So I'm going to do that. So I think because this is so embossed, and it is beautifully embossed, we're going to use our gel glue, not to get height, but just to ensure that where it is embossed, it sticks down. This will just fill in those dips, basically. Let's just pop that in place. Just making sure it's not massively overhanging with the glue. Now where there's excess glue, just squidge that out. Not because you're going to, um, it's going to be in the way, it's, it's going to be cut off, but it just saves your scissors getting really messed up. I'm really pleased with that. Okay, so while that's just setting a little, I'm going to pop my embellishment and my border on. So I've tidied up the border. Actually, I'm going to put this topper on first um, because then we can see exactly where we want the border. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of height on this border. Oh, I keep calling it a border topper, even. It's a little bit more than I want it, so let's just squish it down a bit. Okay, so it's just a small amount of dimension because otherwise I think it would look a bit flat against the embossed part. And then we're going to pop my border in place. Now what I want to do is make sure that the gap here matches the gap here. So where we put the border will depend, you know, on that. So just taking again our glue gel, just going to run it down the back. And then we're just going to pop that in position and that's going to be about... Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to leave that to set for about 10 minutes. Just It won't be fully set in 10 minutes, but it'll be set enough for me to just then cut that excess off. If I tried to do that now, it would just be disastrous. What I decided to do while that's off drying is actually use my epiphany tool to make a little button to go on the gold, just to link it up. And what I thought would be quite cool is to use this little topper here and try and go over that centerpiece. Now I know it's a bit of a waste of a top, but to be honest I wouldn't use one that small on a card so I don't think it's a big problem. Um, and what I'm hoping is that we can get kind of like the stable. So I think we're going to have to cut the top off a little. We slide this in, which you just slide it in the gap at the side here. And then as we slide it in we can actually get it in position. And look we've got that beautiful little image of them all arriving at the stable which follows on you know there's the three kings etc so I think that's really fun and then we've got the little epoxy stickers that go over the top so then we just pop that in position making sure that we're happy with the position of that okay and then pop the lid down there we go I wasn't at the right angle so I couldn't quite do it but there we go now we've done it now I think you know that looks so sweet oops let me try and hold it where you can see it properly there we go I think that's really effective I'm really liking these epiphany for exactly that reason I mean I think that just brings that in I decided as well, uh, while that again now that's setting um, I'll work on the inside I've got a little sentiment here a hunky dory one which says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year but I also thought it'd be nice because it's going to be plain white on the inside if I took one of the dies and I've picked this one fleur de lis um, and because it's a nice rectangle and then put that in there in the gold as well so we're going to take that and we're going to pop that through the ground calibre so again it's very simple you just want your A plate Your cutting plate. Sorry, put your die down, then your card, and then your cutting plate. I want that side today. I'm trying to mix up the cutting plate so that it doesn't get all cut up on one side. Okay, and then just pop it through the machine. 
and then I'm going to take my take this excess off the outside like so and then I'm going to take my tan mat pop it over the top so my pink embossing plate so that then we use the dye to actually um, just add some embossing to the gold and we've seen how beautifully the gold embosses so okay so we're going to remove the pink one then our tan mat and then we're going to pop that down out of the way and we're going to gently just ease this from its Now this is a brand new dye, I haven't used it before, so it does take just a little bit of just gentle assistance because it's brand new. Once they start working themselves in, even I found the second time I used them, it really makes a difference. So but it's just getting it started because you don't want to rip it. I mean this is not as delicate as some, so you're more likely to be able to pull this free without worrying too much. There we go. And I think that looks absolutely stunning. Put it down on the table here where you can see. Isn't that amazing? And um, I don't know if you can see the embossing. There's not very much, it's just a little line around the edge there. Then all I want to do on this bit here is just add my little sentiment to the centre of it. So I'm just going to use my glue runner. And then pop that down. In the middle there we go so that's that one done so we'll pop that to one side for a minute and now we're going to bring back in our actual card. So I've got my scissors. These are my glue scissors, as it were, so I don't mind if there's gluey bits all on them. Um, so we're just literally going to then cut along that edge. Get rid of all that excess. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do is add our little button that we made with our epiphany tool. So just, again, using a bit of glue gel, nice blob on the back. And then I want that down in this bottom corner, about here, I reckon. So then just squidge it into place, like so. And then lastly, we just want to put our mat on the inside. So again, just using the glue runner. And then a tiny bit of wet glue just on some of these bits here so they stick down. Okay, so bringing the card back in, opening up the inside and then popping this in the middle like so. I think that looks really pretty. I do like it, you know, when there's something, even if it's very, del you know, very discreet in a way, this is not, you know, massively like a big insert or anything, but I think it just finishes off the card really pretty. And this fleur de lis cup, I think works just fine for, for Christmas. You know, it's not any particular design, so I think it looks really nice. So that's the inside of our card. And that's the outside of our card. So I hope you've enjoyed making this with me. And I'd love to hear your comments and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.